The Sentinel is known to be reliable, fearless, disciplined, consistent, courageous, motivated, and skillful. So do what you feel passionate about. Take chances. All these qualities start from the mind. Your mind can be your worst enemy or your most powerful weapon. The world becomes your library to help you become better at your craft. Is this the dagger? Learn how to achieve greatness and tap into the Sentinel Mindset. Guys, let's go. Drive, drive, drive. We're doing drills right now. Just drive, drive. Okay, we got a vehicle with weapons. Talk, 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 talk. This is motorcade one. Talk, talk, talk. Uh, vehicle with weapon. Permission to pit. Okay, we're going to pit. Okay, we're going to pit. Fucking go, 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 guys. Crash that gap. Screen him, screen him, screen him. What's up everybody, how are you guys all doing today? We have an amazing, amazing interview set up today with two incredible individuals. We've come here all the way from Canada. We've come here to be able to kind of showcase what is happening in Southwest United States. We're not gonna tell you the location, but what we're gonna do is tell you what is happening at this location. Today we have Byron Rogers, and we have Rick Sweeney from Executive, the Lever Executive Protection. These guys are top dogs. These guys have incredible experience. They have a passion for this industry. And we're gonna go in a little bit deeper about what is happening today and what we're calling, Brian, what, what, what we're calling this today. This is our hard skills intensive. We have a number of different packages, but this one's designed to really prepare the executive protection professional with the hard skills competencies that he's gonna need okay. to be as advertised okay. out in the field. Okay, now, amazing. Rick, let's just drop right to you. Uh, we've been able to spend a couple of days right now seeing what you do right. in this calm collective, I call it the fatherly approach almost, and how it's you're so able just to, just to kind of just pour into these people and help them get from like a starting point beginner to an almost an advanced level where we've seen people in the testimonies have been transformed. Right. Can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit about like just more or less what you do that kind of helps you get them to that level? Yeah, I think basically I've been training individuals uh, since 2002. Yeah, 2002 is really when I started training uh, groups. First it was government yes. and then we started training uh, civilians and pretty much the same types of things, tactical subjects. Uh, started training protection subjects exclusively right around 2007. In that time period, from then to now, I've kind of figured out how to take somebody who may not know anything about this business uh, or has not received training yet, but maybe got into it through a friend, and so he's out there with his suit, and he looks the part, uh, but he doesn't really have those hard skills that you need to back up what they look like okay. or what they sound like. And so what we have found, oh, thousands of students later, we have found that we've figured out how to uh, deliver a package that gets them from A to Z in a very, very brief time. <coughs> and so what you guys have been seeing, I don't know if you've seen the training style before. Maybe yeah. you have, maybe you haven't. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's something we just found works. And I can take a group like we have right now, the ones you've been watching, and I know you've been talking to them, and get them from no security driving experience to, uh, in our opinion, because we've trained government side too, to a government level uh, security driver right. in three days. Right. Uh, and uh, it just seems to be working. And there were some bumps along the way figuring this system out, but now we have it nailed and we can get these guys to a very high level where um, you're not just driving through cones here. Right, um, right. It, it's, getting, it's getting pretty crazy, and I think you guys may have captured some video to, oh, uh, to, show, to show the world what that level is. Well, we had one individual yesterday who referenced that he was a police officer back home, and uh, in his first two days after probation, his car rolled over. He said he never received any training whatsoever um, by the police to help him 
navigate around that situation. I and see. now being part of a rollover, which is a, a, a <coughs> I guess a module that was put on here yesterday. Right. He was like, I wish I knew this 30 years ago. Right. 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 And, and to me, um, he actually said one final thing. And he said, this is something that all law enforcement needs to have. Yeah. And, and to me, uh, you know, seeing this, again, we come from Canada where a lot of times the thought process is, and it's kind of a bad one, is that, do you really need that? What's the use of doing that? Right. And, and to me, you know, you say that until someone says, do you need an alarm for your house? Until somebody breaks into right. it. Right. Uh, right. What can you speak about that, about just maybe the... the I don't know if I want to use the word ignorance, but the, the, the naiveness of individuals that maybe look at seeing things, this is maybe too high level. Do you want to take it, Byron? You want That's, me to yeah, take it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the art of protection is like a parachute. When you need a parachute, all you need is a parachute, <laughs> right? Um, and we don't have a crystal ball. So I believe that understanding how to protect yourselves, your loved ones, and in our case, our clients, principals, and shareholders, Understanding how to do that is 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 one of the. It's something that something may never happen on this job, and one of the most dangerous things about this job is you may think because you work for a principal for five years, nothing ha has happened. That it's a sign of your competence. It's a sign that you're so amazing as a protector. When in all actuality, nothing, just nothing's happened yet, right? So especially with this hard skills package, what we're here to do is prepare people for that. And it's actually a really difficult thing to overcome is because someone can go through their life cycle with any of those, without those experiential pieces of information that show them how important this is. And I hope they never need them. However, this is the one skill that helps you maintain and protect everything that you know and love in your life as a civilian. Now, as a professional who signs up to stand between a principal in these types of situations, this is the one skill you better have. Otherwise, you know, what are we advertising? What are we selling? And and are we in integrity with the way that we're making our living? Right. Right. And and I would I've been in three encounters where we've had to make contact with someone um, on the road where I had that moment of am I going to have to actually choose to make contact with this vehicle? And I'll, two of them were in the United States. You know, two of them were in places where you wouldn't think I've. I've operated in over 70 different countries, and two of them were right here. So at any point in time, with road rage, these types of things starting to, I mean, we're seeing more and more tumultuous experiences within the civilian public, you know, with the riot situations, understanding how to use one of these and not be behind the power curve because you've never understood what it's like to make contact. You don't want to hesitate in that moment. You don't want to avoid when you should lean into it. This is, this, these are the competencies people are walking away from when they're learning how to do contact driving. Okay. You know, because there's levels. There's vehicle dynamics. There's contact driving. Both are extremely important. This is great, man. Uh, go on. I got a little piece just to tack on to that, sure. great, that great uh, speech right there. Is, uh, you know, we, we do hear sometimes that, uh, oh, you guys are training. You know, why do you need all that? Right. You know, contact driving and this and that. Okay, well, let's, let's come down to firearms training. So maybe you're going to be an armed executive protection agent in Canada, United States. How good do you really need to know how to shoot? Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just take a two-day course because, right. <laughs> you know what, we'll probably not have to shoot, so let's just not be that good at it. Right, right. It's a stupid uh, yeah. kind of uh, <laughs> way, way of thinking. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. We're, tra we're training these guys for their worst day at the office. Right. right. And if you can handle that worst day at the office, you can most definitely bring it down to mm -hmm. any level you want. But guess what? You have those skills in your back pocket. And that's what's been so impressive about this is because training at the worst day at the office, you're not coming in and being like, as, as we talked in earlier, you know, we're not just coming in here and what you want to do is pretend you're going to hit a vehicle here. No. You're actually hitting cars we're here. You're actually content. rolling over in vehicles here. Yes. You're spinning out. You're going through a high adrenaline piece. And last night, it was being done in total darkness. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? These are things, again, like... It's almost someone says, why don't you punch me here so I can know how to take the hit? No, when someone's going to punch you, you don't know where it's coming from, how it's going to come, right. how heavy it's going to be. And do you think anyone who put their seatbelt on and got into a vehicle was like, today, I'm going to roll over in my vehicle. <laughs> right. Today, someone's going to attack me on the road and I'm going to have to defend myself against getting ran off the road or pit maneuvered or any of these types of things. Am I going to have to, today, now the professional protector should be saying, today I'm prepared to deal with a roadblock and I know how to ram through that if it does happen, mm. you know, but 
No one's expecting these things to happen. And it's our job as private security professionals to understand how to mitigate and navigate these things effectively. Nice, Rick, you were going to say something? I was, well, just to tack onto that, because now that's kind of fresh in my mind, we yeah. teach our students, today is your day. Today if you go out day. there, if you go out that door and you're not thinking, today is my day, yep. yes. you might not you might not win on that encounter. Right. Yeah. If you think, today is my day, you're going to be ahead of the curve. Oh, 100%. wow. That's the good. day I stop thinking, today is my day, when I go out that door, I'll hang it up. Okay. Yep. okay. And that's the way we look at it. Okay. Just like Byron said, you don't wake up in the morning and go, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to yeah. be attacked today when I go on that detail. Yes. You don't think that way. Right. right. But, but you looking. need to. Yeah. You need to think, today is the day I'm going to be attacked. So let me make sure I get my planning solid. Okay. Let me right. make sure my vehicle's up. Right. Because when that attack happens, because I'm assuming right it's going to happen, everything is solid. Okay. Let me make sure my skills are up to par. Right. Because when it happens, I need to make sure that I'm ready. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to tack on to the great stuff that, that Byron just no, said. No, that's great. Yeah. That's great. This is an industry right now where... You have it's a close knit it's a close knit community almost where yeah. you know you know who the players are. If you're gonna recommend someone for work or have someone come and work for you, you need to know what you're getting. Now we have twelve people here today that are are basically kind of almost in a situation where they're kind of like showcasing what they're doing over these next eight days. Right. Are you guys looking at them and ending the way and saying, Hey, I wonder if I can use them for my team? Is there any of that happening potentially that could you know <laughs> one Hundred percent. This okay. is this is part of. I mean, essentially, it's almost like an induct. It's like an active interview, you know. Okay. So, and it's it's a beautiful way for us to see how they deal with stress, they deal with pressure, they deal with guidance, they deal with um, us giving them constructive feedback. They right. they deal with these things and see how they work in a team. See what their impact is on unit cohesion. Okay. Uh, assess their emotional intelligence. See how they work when they're tired, when they're miserable. See how much they complain. What kind of attitude they have. Yes. This is one of the best opportunities for us to source high quality manpower um, that exists and so every student that comes through this course is on a roster we maintain contact with them uh, moving forward they'll have access to my portal where everyone in the league I meet with them every two weeks every two weeks we hop on a zoom call they can check in they can ask me and we basically do our careers together me or one of my instructors generally it's me just get in there and I just say hey guys this is your time what are you dealing with? How can I help you? Okay. Uh, so they'll have a, an ongoing asset. They'll pay once here. They'll have an ongoing asset in that way. And, you know, he's had groups that have been in touch with him for, Since for the 2012 span. when we started doing a lot of uh, veterans coming out of the military. Yes. Uh, we set up a group text or a group chat for each course. We still have some of these group chat, chats open from 2012. Wow. That's 10 right. years ago. Wow. Now, here's the interesting part, and this phases into what we were just talking about. One of the individuals in our class number one in 2012 is now a security manager yep. in a high-level organization in California now. Wow. As soon as we started day one of this course, he contacted me and said, we're looking at one of the students in your course. Tell me how he did. Okay. So before we're even uh, finished with day one of this new program we put right. out, we have individuals based on the performance there we're going to hire or not hire. Right. right. Let us know. Right. And so, and the reason why is because this guy's been through our course number one yes. and knew what we were putting out here. Right. And so when word gets out what we're really doing here, uh, yeah, these guys are going to be really in demand. The second thing that I'll say on this is I do, I run international details. Uh, been in Mexico since 2007, Colombia, Brazil, Lebanon. Medium to high risk areas is pretty much all I deal with. Mm -hmm. I would say right now, at any given time, we have three or four details going. 95% mm -hmm. of the individuals on these details are students of ours. Amazing. Because we know they're doing it our way. We get that look, yeah. like Byron said, this is a week long interview almost. Okay. And yeah. so we know who's got the temperament we want skills we can give you skills but there's that x factor too that we might not know until we see you out here in all these different scenarios what are what are guys this is actually fantastic for someone listening to this mm -hmm. and they're saying i want to do this i want to be part of this um what is first of all what should their mindset be coming into this yeah and and really quick on that the hard skills intensive isn't just about getting the hard skills the back end the higher ability getting exposure to multiple security companies, that's huge. But when they leave here, they're gonna have uh, 
a high volume of certificates that we can put into their training jacket and letters from us that will make them much more hireable. When they walk out of here, they're gonna have like five medical certificates. Right. They're gonna have a shooting package. They're gonna have two uh, driving certificates, a vehicle dynamics course, a contact driving course. These are rare and valuable certificates. You're gonna pay once, you're gonna get so much value out of this. A hand-to-hand -hand combatives certificate that you can't get this training anywhere else other than here at the league with the gold standard. So this is, we're going to get them these competencies because we are protectors. We believe in the art of protection. We're going to make them competent, but we're also going to make them extremely potent in the marketplace and extremely hireable. You know, now with regards to the mindset coming into this course, honestly, I'd like to tell you it's almost like a boot camp. You know, it's almost like this is going to be an experience. You're going to look at the itinerary and you're going to see everything that we're going to do. And I can tell you everything that we're going to do. But what I also want to tell you is there's no way for you to really, really be ready for the experience other than to have the faith to jump into it. Because when we get you in these cars and you're pitting and you're sliding, there's dust flying everywhere. It's going to be one of the coolest experience you've ever had when you learn how to navigate that and control that. When we get you out on the range and you're moving principles from vehicle to vehicle and we're shooting, we're holding security, you're putting rounds on target. It's going to be one of the most amazing experiences you've ever had on the range. When we get out into the protector yard, we got our shirts off and we're out here working out and no matter what your fitness level is, your age level is, we welcome you into that family, that safe place for you to get better, you know, amongst a body of protectors. It's, 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 there's nothing like what you're going to experience here, you know. And so the closest thing I can give you is it's kind of like a boot camp. Long days. We start at 6.30. We end after dark you know we're gonna push you and we're gonna utilize every single moment that we have access to you for to jam this experience in you i want you to have an emotional experience as well as a psychological experience that's going to make you a much more high quality protector okay i'm sold i'm listening to this around the world right now i want to be part of this next one i want to go when i'm here already you know no i can't wait what, what, when's, the, when's the next one guys wait if someone's listening wants to be part of this right now because i think right 100 people just need to see what right. is happening to be like man i need this yeah. when is, do you have a, a projected yeah. time frame for the next oh, one yeah. coming up end of june june 22nd to june 29th we just threw the other one uh, the, the second class on our books okay so yeah we're, we're ready to go it's already happening yeah okay. but wouldn't so but no matter when you're watching this go to epspecialist.com yes because we have ongoing courses ongoing classes this is just the hard skills intensive we've got some other amazing courses that you need to take advantage of we've got a pipeline you know starting from the online curriculum we have all the way up through the hard skills intensive with and then also into the ep immersion course right to get you that golden certificate to certify you as an executive protection specialist so there's so much more coming you want to get in on this all of this stuff that we have here at the gold standard at the league epspecialist.com and if there's a class already in session or if there's something that's not on the calendar get on the wait list because these courses go fast when we yeah. sold this thing out it was yeah. two weeks yeah two weeks we put our first course out. i don't even think it was that long yeah. to tell you yeah. the truth yeah. as soon as we put it out there right. it was just gone right right and uh, we're working on a yearly schedule now mm -hmm. for our core courses so yeah. individuals can actually schedule it actually know people have to take vacation time off and things like that right so now that we're on our first course yes. now we're going to sit down and actually knock out that yearly schedule so exactly. people can actually plan and you know for their vacations right. and Fantastic. whatever they have to do with their families the to get piece. away for eight days yeah. Oh, amazing. The last Absolutely. piece of that too is if you're a hiring manager and you want to run your guys through these things, maybe you've taken some awesome courses in the past, you know, maybe you've done some vehicle dynamic stuff, your guys are at a pretty high competency level. Um, we can tailor make packages for you. Maybe they haven't got <clears throat> a contact driving uh, package yet or there's something that you want to run them through that we have. We can do whatever whatever you need and we can set you guys up and just bring your group out here and run them through the training the timing here i think is perfect i think since covid has kind of passed us right now yeah. that, that the need and demand for executive protection is going up right Absolutely. now more and more people need this and i think more and more people need to get ready for these opportunities that come in absolutely and uh, i want to thank you guys for your time uh, what you guys are doing is extremely impressive is extremely needed thank you and you guys are doing an incredible job really changing an individual they come in one way they leave another they become better versions you of themselves seeing it and we are yeah. amazed by that and i want to thank you guys for doing that thank you so much Excellent, appreciate your time Brian. it's an honor thank brother you so much, man. Appreciate your time, guys. this podcast is brought to you by executive protection lifestyle canada 
make sure to drop by next week and don't forget to subscribe.